Hey, thanks for joining me today. It's Patrick. Today I want to continue our exploration of bass in math, psychedelic, and progressive rock by talking about odd time signatures, namely 7-4. I think what bugs a lot of people about odd time signatures, particularly with 7-4, is that when you listen to music with 7-4 within rock or popular music, you often hear everyone coming in on the one and the most other common subdivisions of that meter. You don't really get the breadth of syncopation and playfulness in the rhythm of the song that you do in 4-4, where musicians are honestly just more comfortable in the 4-4 context uh, in, the, in the Western tradition of music we have here. So today I chose two songs where I feel like the bassists clearly have a good intuitive sense of 7-4, and they play a little bit with the syncopation and with the rhythmic emphasis over the bar in a way that's very musical. When first learning Shoreline, it's really tempting to add two extra eighth notes at the end of each measure. You've got to be careful not to fall on that old 4-4 groove pattern. One thing that can help out is actually counting out 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and, and practicing at a slow tempo until you familiarize yourself. And with that, let's move on to our next groove by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. <laughs> 